Hi ladies and welcome back to Dip Nails and Wig Tales. I'm going to show you two um, longer synthetic wigs that I got off Amazon a while back that I've been wanting to show you. I haven't even opened them and played with them. I did look at one of them. That's what we're going to look at today. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Please don't forget to enter my giveaway. I will leave the link to the video in the description box below. So these are from Amazon. But what you get, you open the noisy package. Um, you're going to get your little note card from them. <laughs> A-I-S-I hair. Okay, and it tells you like how to wear it, how to wash it, stuff like that. They send you a pair of lashes. My daughter wears the heck out of some lashes, so she will appreciate them. Now, this one is more of the yellow blonde one. Let me take the netting off of it. This is the one I looked at, so I kind of did mess it up a little bit. And they tell you don't take off the tag until after you've tried it on. That way you can return it if you hate it. Um, on the cap, this is your lace front. So, I mean, it's a lace front. You get like that much lace front. The only thing I don't like about this one is it is going to need some doctoring to make it look real. Or, you know, halfway real. Because the hairline isn't as pretty as some other ones I've gotten. It probably looks better on camera. But this is the yellow blonde. This is the one I don't like just because I'm not into warm blondes. But it is pretty. It's matte fibers again. So, I mean, compared to this one, it's not shiny. Which all wigs, even human hair, are can be shiny when they're new. This is what your cap's going to look like. It's a closed wefted with a netting. You have your combs. I love that. The cap is made nice. Um, it's got your um, adjustable bra strap. And, and then I'm only going to show you one all made up today, which is going to be the other one. This is the one I like. It's like a darker, I don't know, like a rosy gold brownie blonde. So this is the one I'm going to be putting on and showing you. But, um, same cap, all that. I love the color. Let me let you see them both together. Do you see how this one is so yellow? If you like that warm blonde, you will love this one. And the link will be down in the description box. This one I love. You know, color is everything when you're choosing wigs. If you don't like a certain color, um, as soon as you put on a wig, you're going to hate it if it's not your color. I mean, it, this is from sitting in the package, so it needs to steam it up a little or take my flat iron and straighten that out. This, this baby is cute. I love, love, love the color. Um, so definitely keeping this one. Like I said, it needs some tweaking on the hairline, and they fit good. They are small head friendly. This is the hairline. And it's really not a lot of hair. To me, it's very similar to what um, I've gotten, you know, with actual human hair wigs in this length. So, I mean, it feels good. This wig is pretty. And for color reference, this is the one I had on. So, I mean, it's nice coloring. But all I'm going to do is take my flat iron and I'm just going to lightly with heat, like, run it away from my face right here in my hair. Okay, we're gonna switch to my bathroom for a little while. So it does say it's heat resistant. I just checked the um, listing and I forgot to say that they are $24.95, I think. So 25 bucks each. There's a length better in here. I mean, it's cute. It actually doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel, I mean, I thought I was gonna hate these wigs, but I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna take it and run it away from my face, but I'm not touching the curls, you know what I mean? Just the front of the hair. Okay, so you can see just doing that made a big difference. Um, I know that I'm keeping this in, so I am going to take off the tag and I'm going to um, cut the little bit of lace off and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to the hairline to make it look realistic. Yeah, the cap feels good. It's very small and I only have it on the second one. So First one, second one. This is a reminder to anybody, especially if you buy expensive human hair wigs, always save the lace that you cut off because if something happens and a piece of your lace tears or, or something you need a patch, you're not going to find this lace, especially matching. So always get you a little baggie or a little makeup bag. Keep your little lace pieces. I'm a bit of my concealer and you can use your foundation. I like to use concealer because it looks best to me. So I'm just going to take it. I'm just gonna dab it. May pluck the hairline, but oh, that's not bad. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take my setting powder, translucent, or you can use light, whatever you like. I'm just gonna take it and pat it down the hairline. It won't look that wide, I promise. And I'm gonna pat the knots at the front and at underneath it. Now I'm gonna put her on. Okay, I'm gonna go switch the part. I'm just gonna take my flat iron and just move it over just a tad so it doesn't look so bleh. Okay, so I moved the hairline over. I probably need to take my steamer to it because I didn't wet it. I just did it with a flat iron, so there's a tad, tad bit of a bump. But if you do it, not try to be fast like me, it'll look better. I put a little bit of concealer on the new part. I'm gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. Bam, sorry young folks, I just cannot do a middle part. It's just not me seen this in the package I would have never thought that this is what it would be at the end and always remember anytime you open any a human hair wig any type of wig it's not going to be perfect out of the box you're going to have to make it yours whether it's to move the part thin it out some um you know style it different move it away from your face you've got to make the wig yours before you get frustrated you've seen how this looked in the beginning now look at it I mean, you have to make it yours. If you're new, welcome and thank you for coming. I appreciate you. And please don't forget to subscribe, enter my giveaway, and like this video. Have a great weekend.